actually starts now. So let's just pretend it's starting now. So, hey, Rich, what did you get up to the weekend? I had a really busy weekend. I went out to the pub on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> no, busy. No, my, uh, my, no, my wife, um, she was working overtime on Sunday all day, so I played house husband all day Sunday and did everything that needed to be done. But, uh, yeah, we took took the uh, took the time to go on a nice long walk with the dog and, yes, it just happened to end up at the pub on Saturday. So, yeah, we made the most of it, shall we say, on our, uh, on our Saturday. But... Uh, yeah, lots of things to do, and uh, yeah, back to the grindstone this morning. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I uh, I actually had the first weekend I wasn't working all day, every day, for like five weeks, I think. So I, what did we do on Saturday? Uh, we went to the hot springs. and yeah, Again? I, you did that yeah. last weekend? Yeah, um, I like my my back's been sore all this desk work sitting and planning and writing and recording and stuff. My back's been sore. So I played a bit of squash. And then went for a beer afterwards. It was also, I had a big catch up with my family. And my big, big event for my family this week, my parents were both 70 this year. It was their 40th wedding anniversary this year. In fact, their wedding anniversary, they got married the day after my dad's birthday. So that was like, they were back to back. And my grandmother turned 106 on Sunday. Oh, my actual goodness. So really. all, my, all my relatives from, especially that side of the family, were gathering together. Um, but yeah, so they, they, it was sort of a joint celebration for 270th, the so 40th wedding anniversary and 106th birthday. So my sister and I wrote a speech. And that all went down rather well. So basically we, um, yeah, we, we did that. And then I had a big catch up with the fan, basically. So that was uh, all the um, fun and games. What, uh, not that, that's not interesting, Rich, but what is <laughs> uncertainty's calculations? That's not maths. Oh, unless it could be maths, but I don't think it is maths. Could you do Oh, uh, no, that's probably biology. Yeah, yeah. That's... Uncertainty's calculation. Well, so if you have a piece of volumetric pipette that's accurate to, you know, 0.5 of a mil, you have to then, if you're measuring 40 millimetres, but you can only be sure of your measurement to 0.5 of a milliliter, then you need to know what's the percentage uncertainty. So you think that's you've got... That's quite hard, no? Well, you take the error and divide it by the volume and figure out, yeah. That's oh, it's for physics. It's for physics. Uh, yeah. It's the same thing for physics, yeah. yeah. It's, well, it's, across it's, the sciences, yeah. I think they're actually universal now. Across some of the, the mathematical skills are percentage error. All that kind of stuff have been set by Ofqual to be more or less universal. Um, yeah. Um, so so yeah. basically, no, say that again slower, what you just said. If you, if you, so you have a piece, of, a piece of equipment that is accurate, yeah. say a ruler that's only yeah. got accurate to half centimeter graduations you don't have millimeters you've got centimeters and half centimeters and okay. you need something that is to the nearest five half centimeter. yeah five centimeters the nearest is 0.5 so it could have been between 4.5 and 5.5 4.495 to no yeah well yeah 4.9999999 yeah 9999999 and 5.5 yeah. Precisely. There's, and then you can work out that. So therefore, your error is a maximum of 0. 0.5 centimetres. Yeah. yeah 0. If you point, measured yes. a 30 centimetre line, it would be 0. 0.5 divided by 30 times 100. Mm. So 0. 0.5 being the error, because that's the, the piece, the measuring stick. Yeah. You can't be confident thing. that you all that you can be confident with that piece of that device, that measuring equipment is that the answer, the real, true, actual, perfect answer falls somewhere within the range. 0. 0.5. And therefore you do the error, which is a maximum of 0. 0.5 divided by the divided by what? By the thing you're measuring. If you're measuring, obviously, if you're using a centimeter, like something that's accurate to half centimeter to measure, uh, you know, a billion kilometers, the percentage error is going to be minuscule because you don't need that you know over, so it depends on how how big the thing that you're measuring is yeah if you measured one centimeter with that ruler then it'd be 0.5 divided by one times 100 so one being the thing that you are concluding measuring. the measurement yeah. based on yeah. Yeah. yeah whereas if you're measuring a, a meter 100 centimeters is obviously be the error percentage error will be uh yeah 0.05 Smaller. yeah in um uh, just, just since we're on the subject in chemistry, where you use a burette because you take two readings. I mean, that's accurate. To, uh, I think it's 0 0.05 centimeter cubed. So you start with one reading and you finish on another reading because you're reading it twice. It's actually two times the error divided by the volume that you let out of the burette. So it's a little cheeky little thing they put in chem as well. I'm sure there's probably other examples, but why is yeah, it twice? Ask that one. Because Why you're making five? two measurements, you're 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 it's like you're measuring two different 
you you have your starting reading it twice yeah it's every time there's a reading because each reading is accurate to the maximum accuracy of that you know oh, even so in, then you'd have to double the double the error double that the measurement of the of the yeah. equipment thing yeah you know, double the yeah exactly um cool. There is a uh, bio, there's a video on that in my biology course for sure. I've filmed it a while ago, but it's 100% there in the maths part of the course, which is now at the bottom. Or in fact, I'll show you where it is in a minute. So don't hold on to your hats. If you um, Baby Witch, good name, is saying, can you tell me, in fact, is shouting, can you tell me what exam papers to for the Edexcel maths NRE spec? What's an NRE spec? I don't know. I don't know what an NRE is. Baby witch, you're going to have to explain what you mean because I don't know what... Uh... New. Maybe is it a typo of new? Oh, new. I bet it's a new typo. For the new spec. The Edexcel new spec. Oh, everything that I've done is um, is for the new specification. In fact, people doing resets, I'm going to have to do like a document to tell them what to do. So the whole Taylor Tutors course is for the new A-level um in maths and I'm a senior examiner for the Edexcel. So yeah, it totally, it totally will cover the Edexcel specification hundred percent. Um, if that what doesn't we... cover your question, then, then shout. Ben asked us what subjects we're doing today. A bit of everything today, Ben, we're going to go through, um, we had loads and loads of questions on what's the difference between the starter guide and the essential uh, and the ultimate guide. So I will just sort of show you inside the course and give you a bit of a demo of that just to clear things up a little bit. Loads of common questions, a bit of FAQ. Also, we'll show you the new uh, traffic light system. In fact, we can maybe start a, an unofficial competition. What We needed a better name for it than I think the traffic light system. So any suggestions for a new name, you leave it in the comments. If you're not watching this live, obviously send it to us in the comments live. If you've got any great ideas for that, when we show it to you. And then we'll do some, um, if you've got any homework questions or general biology, maths, chemistry questions, then we'll obviously Ronnie, Rich and I, we're going to try and keep the session a little bit tighter today. So let's get cracking, shall we? So what's the difference between um, the starter guide and the ultimate guide? Anyone in the chat who's here, what do you think are the differences? I want to test you before I start telling you a bit of a test teach test out there today. Um, so whilst you're thinking about that, let me, you're not seeing my screen yet, so I can do whatever I want over here. I'm just going to find the right window. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is exactly the one. Make it nice and full screen so you don't see any other junk. How do I make this go away? Oh. Yeah. Because I think we, like Rich said, we do get a lot of questions you know, what, what is the difference between the starter and the ultimate guide? I mean, you know, we try really hard to kind of make it really clear on the website and stuff. I mean, whether, you know, any of you guys have had a look on the website, whether you've got any questions, you know, let us know what you understand um, by the difference between the starter and the ultimate guide. I mean, what is it that, you know, is in one and isn't in the other? I mean, you know, what are your ideas on this? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, in which note, whilst people are still, uh, still telling us the differences i or, or at least at least penning some of those differences i'm going to start my screen share and show you what's going on desktop one oh i can actually just do all of firefox i've never done it this way before okay so this is if you were to have the ultimate guide to biology ultimate guide to chemistry and ultimate guide to maths this is what you would see as a student so you've got your chemistry all the year one content goes in here the traffic light system that we're kind of come back to later on that you guys are going to give us a name for um you can preview like which how many videos in each category you've got here then you've got the live weekly web classes this is is one of the big things that is different about the ultimate guide if you're a starter guide user you will not see this weekly web class course here you will not see this weekly web class course here so all those lessons that we're doing live to answer your questions similar to these but they're going to be way more sort of i'd say academic without trying to put you off they're going to be way more focused on actually helping you with real exam content rather than just this casual YouTube live kind of stuff that we're doing right now. So obviously you've got the chemistry year one, year two, web classes, maths, pure and applied and web classes and biology year one, year two and web classes. So this is a full fat ultimate guide user. Let's have a look into the course and see what you'd see. Uh, I'm going to do biology just because I will get a bit of a tour inside the chemistry and maths as well and get Ronnie to explain that. This particular example student is an AQA student and so you've got the specification let's go into the course and take a little look 
So you're going to see something new this this year. You've got all these um, the what like subheadings basically. And as I said, I'll tell you where the maths and stats were. The maths and stats are now been incorporated into the year one and year two courses. Some of the feedback we had last year, we really like to take on your feedback. There were just too many courses on your My Courses page. So we've shrunk that down and we've basically put these in here. So you can click on the little drop down and then you can see, in fact, I wonder where um, it's, estimating microbial growth um you, you can see all the different maths and stats elements all covered here and the rest of the course just like that something that is new to the course this year is the in fact let's not do that that's part two i'm getting ahead of myself so with ultimate guide you will be able to ask us questions you see here this is a starter guide uh user here and they you don't you can't ask us questions and you can't see the answers to any of uh any of the questions so if you are an ultimate guide user one of the main differences is on every single video it doesn't matter which one you do any of these you can pick the maths and the stats the biology any of them you have the option if you're an ultimate guide user to log on and ask us questions basically you can i um, we answer the questions well, I try to do it daily. I often don't quite get around to do it every day, but certainly, you know, three times a week, four, three, four times a week, I'll be on there punching out questions. So I know those ultimate guide users that are asking me questions all the time, I get a really nice personal relationship with them. And there's some really nice, um, really nice examples of people like doing a bit of research and then sort of sharing some stuff with me. Like I've, lots of people doing some stuff on white blood cells and like, do we need to know this? Do we need to know that? And I can then help shepherd your answers. And I say, well, I always are going to give you the answers in the context of how you should use it in the exam. So I try not to let the comments go too off topic because people ask me, do I need to know about, I think pericytes, I think was, was a question that was asked to me the other day. It's like, it is nice to know, but you don't need to know that for that's not, none of the exam boards need you to know about these things. So forget about it basically. And it sometimes I'll give you an interesting answer, but I'll let you know clearly whether you want to know it for the exam or not. So comments, asking us questions on the comments and the live web classes are two of the major differences. The third thing are the template notes. And maybe I'll demonstrate in one of Ronnie's courses for template notes. Um, yeah, I think they are, that, they are beautiful. They are. And, and, and just saying about the comments and the, and the live web classes, I think that's what really sets us apart. It's not like we just give you the videos and say, yeah, yeah we've had your money now. You're on your own kind of thing. We do, we do not do that. We don't abandon you. We're here 24 7. That's what we're here for. Absolutely. I'm just going to enroll myself in a slightly different course, actually, because I I want to demonstrate those really nicely. Um, actually, see. Nika's just saying, like, she's had a test. Actually, all mathematicians have had a test, probably, and have made lots of silly mistakes. And that is what we all do in maths. And if you actually, Rich is about to put some of the, the what they call templates up, I think. Do yeah, the I'll show you, I'll show you one in do algebraic second. techniques or... Okay. Yeah. Something uh, from that. Anything from there. Algebra is pure math. It is. Well done. Um, but yeah, all of them have got at the bottom. How would you check this after you've done it? Because it's really, really important, and I think it's something that's not covered enough. It's like it's. It should. Shall be I show them, Ronnie? Shall I put it up? Go on, then do it. It should be part of the consideration of the of the topic itself. How do you check it? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, that's one of the major feedbacks we had from last year in the course. They found that super duper useful using the expertise of a very experienced examiner and someone who writes the math schemes and sees lots of mistakes. Um, so within the math course, Ronnie, do you want to talk them through it? I can, you can direct me. I can scroll. Okay. Up so uh, we're on ultimate now, aren't we? We are now an ultimate user. And so basically the video itself is going to be on the left hand side. You can see um, that five centimeter strip there's got everything you actually need to know. Um, yep, yeah, that bit there. So you can fold that over, and the next five centimeters will contain sort of tips and uh, things to remember that are important. So if you use these notes, template notes, which are downloadable just above if you're an ultimate user, um, then you can fold that over and use that as a way of checking yourself, and you can still see the question. So the numbers at the top. What we suggest you do is print this out, watch the video through, and the um, the template notes are going to basically contain a lot of what you can see on the screen now, but without the annotation. So your job will simply be the uh, the, uh, up, 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 there. I see. Yeah. 
Um, so that's the so you can print that out and it means that while you're watching the video you don't have to sit there copying the symbols and copying down what you know all of the things that you need to remember you can focus on listening and um, joining the ideas up in your head and just annotating the notes in a way that makes sense to you so you can see my annotations on the right hand side are in green but you can add your annotations to the template notes in a way that makes sense to you so that's a really really good way of learning it means you're not just copying you're actually listening and what you're writing down is the annotations which is going to mean that you are thinking about the individual steps and then always 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 you'll see in the bottom and right, um, I will give you some way to check when you've done that sort of topic. So if you've done this sort of question, then how would you check it? You would do da, da, da. so all every single every single video is going to contain that information that Nika was talking about saying, like, you know, I make mistakes. Yes, we all do. We all make mistakes. So you have to learn how to check for mistakes. Um, can you guys see the template notes if I do that? I'm not sure you can. I think I'm only showing one window. I think I need to go back and... Uh... I can't see them at the moment. Okay, so I let me just the... stop cool. that and then I'll do share my desktop instead and then you can just see everything that I'm seeing. So this is an example of those template yeah. notes. So you can print that out and that obviously matches the video and then the what you're doing when you're watching the video is just adding down the right-hand side or adding around the solution what did I do from this line to this line? What steps am I using? What particular techniques am I using to get from here to here? What are the key things to remember? What are the warnings that lots of mistakes people make? That's what the warning box is for. So that whole box will be full of warnings of things that students do a lot, which obviously I do see a lot as an examiner um, of this subject. And it, oh, it's so frustrating, these students that in the real exam, and they obviously know what they're doing, but minus two turns into minus five or you know just these little things that are classic mistakes that you could predict that would happen and that is what's going in that box and that's what i'm telling you about you, you were telling me about one where you know the brackets just disappear or one bracket disappears somewhere and then it obviously All brackets are invisible so the yeah. student knows they've put brackets in but the actual brackets themselves are invisible so what you've written isn't what you mean so you've written three plus two x bracket something something which means three add 2x lots of this thing but you don't mean that you mean 3 plus 2x lots okay. of the thing but what you're thinking and what you've written because the brackets are invisible and not the same which means you're not going to get the marks in the exam mm. and that sort of thing is really really important to learn those techniques so yeah what you've got on the screen at the moment is what you can print out so that that means that when you're watching that video it makes it a lot easier and who gets these notes. ultimates Ultimate guide users get those. Starter guide yeah. users, you've got to do the work yourself, got to write it out. And then what goes with all your videos, Ronnie? Uh, questions, because in your textbook, you're going to have 50,000 million questions. So what I've done is to break that down into a maximum of 15. So you've got, for this particular topic, you've got five apprentice questions. So easy, medium, hard, basically. And then expert level questions is what you would need to be able to do the exam. And then the mastery questions is what you need to be able to do if you're pushing for those top A, A star grades. And then you've got the answers. And if you're an ultimate user, you also have videos going through every single question as well. Yes, yeah, so ultimate guide user is going to get a video explanation of how each one of these questions, yeah, it can be broken down and Ronnie's going to explain how to do it. So there's a lot of extra stuff that goes into that ultimate, ultimate yeah, course. Yeah, I mean, plus, of course, down the bottom, you can ask questions. Yeah, okay, so then down here. So here's oh, there a you go. Example. There's some questions. <laughs> um, so you can obviously, yeah. you can obviously um, log in and then there's questions and all of Ronnie's answers. And you can obviously read everyone else's questions and everyone else's answers. Yeah. So I, we, guarantee, we, we highly recommend you read everyone else's comments first because someone may have asked in biology, often you get the same question over and over again. And I just divert them to another answer that I've already written. And everything's obviously on every single video. So all the questions are like nicely on one topic, which is really nice and really nice and clean. Um, Rich, do you want a little poke inside the, um, the chemistry course? Just to- Yeah, we can do. And then, I, and then we can use maybe use the chemistry course. I've got all the chemistry courses here. I'll just pick AQA just because I, I just enrolled myself. Um, any particular one? Atomic structure, fundamental chemistry? You start somewhere near the beginning? Yeah, any of those. Any of those. Oh, um, fundamental. I have my um, template notes up there. That's tomorrow's job. <clears throat> but I've right. uh, got my introduction video. So what I've done on each of my sections uh, in the chemistry course is 
you know, split it down, obviously, uh, relating to the specification. The first video in each little section is basically just me saying, you know, this is what I've included in in, the, in this section here, and this is what's really important uh, for the exams and stuff. So you don't need to go poking around too far. You just have a look at the introductory video, and it tells you exactly what's in there and, and what it is you need to know. But then, of course, obviously, for each exam board, just like uh, Ronnie and Rich have done, is break it down to all those different spec points, um, with, I wouldn't say the bare minimum that you need to know because that sounds awful, but you know what? There's no waffle in there. It's exactly what you need to know with insights into the, you know, the types of questions you're going to come across in the exam, the most common questions, um, and obviously how to answer those questions as well, more importantly. So, um, that's my pink video. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so you can, um, yeah, you can navigate your way through here with, like this is going to give you the introductory video and then obviously you can you can view all the other bits and pieces down here um so yeah you have basically the whole spec just laid out for you it's super nice and easy to navigate and with the with this new feature up here so actually actually let's see what are we on we're writing formula you can see we're highlighted over here every time you watch a video you can mark your you can mark it with a color so with this is like a traffic light system we've got green you'll see it change to green we've got amber and you've got red so you, if you know this is a particularly troubling topic to you, then you can obviously mark it as red. I would suggest that every single time you watch a video, you click a color. And if you're just not sure what to click it, just go with the middle one, go with amber. Um, go Because then you're going to be able to start populating all of these down here. will start having their own color. And if you know that if you didn't quite get it, then obviously you can mark it as red. But if you just leave it, they're all going to stay gray. And you're not going to know. At least you know if you've marked one amber and you just mark them all amber, then it will have a really nice record for you to check which ones you have watched. Obviously, you have a completion percentage up here. So when you do start working your way through the videos, your completion percentage will carry on. But that doesn't tell you which, how much you understood it, whether you got the questions right. Obviously, with, with Ronnie's course, you're going to have a set of questions for every video. So if you mark them and you get them all right, then maybe you just obviously I've got them all right. Let's go with green for now. Um, so I'd recommend that you, you choose a color for every single time you watch a video. And if you're not sure, just go in the middle and just mark it as amber. And then you'll have all of these will start populating over here. And we're going to develop this a little bit more, but you can go to your favorites page. I think I'm probably only going to have the one. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's <laughs> you got oh, it. I know why the page is, I unpublished it. So that page is actually currently unpublished, but we're, there's a very soon behind the scenes, you'll have like a summary page. So you can see all of your red ones and all of your amber ones and all of your green ones. So if you want to just to go and like, I want to see all the ones I've marked red. I want to go and do an hour's worth of work on all the videos I thought I had struggled on. Then you can go to one place and just find them all in one go, whether that's biology, whether that's chemistry, whether that's maths across all the subjects. So that's a nice feature too. Yeah, like uh, there's a couple of comments. One yeah. is that Seb says that my tutorial on the binomial expansion is amazing. Thank you, Seb. Tell me something I don't know, Ronnie. <laughs> and the other one is um, about centrifugal, something about it's not maths. Uh, where is it? Uh, centripetal force? No, no, no. It's. Oh, wait. about centrifuging. Yeah, it's probably about um, isolating organelles and cell fractionation. I don't know where it is. I swear it was there a minute ago. I'll, I'll like a super times. centrifuge. So whoever it was asked about centrifugal or centripedal. It would be about a centrifuge, I would have thought, probably cell fractionation. Basically what you do is you take some cells from an organism, blend them, blitz them. Basically you need to break the cell walls apart or the cell membranes if it's an animal cell and then you spin it. Well, then we know what happens if you've got if you spin something, the heavy things are basically pushed to the end more. So the nuclei, the biggest organelles go down the bottom and they actually get compressed into what's called a pellet. They form like a, like a lump and the lump- By bottom, the, do you mean the outside? But, well, they're actually, so it's a test tube like this and then they're actually put like suspended sideways and then spun. So it's actually- So when you say bottom, you mean the outside? The yeah. bottom of the out, yeah, the bottom, the bottom of the test of the tube. The test which, tube, which is, is the outside of the centrifuge. As it's spinning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, because they've got then, the greatest mass. 
Yeah, the greatest mass, and therefore they they basically get clumped together. So the first pellet that you extract is the nuclei, and then the second pellet are the next biggest organelles, which are chloroplasts and mitochondria, depending on obviously whether they have chloroplasts or not. And then you can basically, you only need to know the heaviest two and the lightest one. They don't test you on the specific orders or does the Golgi apparatus come out before or after the endoplasmic reticulum? Don't know. But you need to know nuclei, chloroplasts and mitochondria. Forget the middle ones and the light, the last pellet to form, the lightest one is the rib ribosomes. They're the only ones you need to know, which is a nice little tip. Um, Ultra centrifugation, that is illusion of truth. Yeah, that is exactly what that is. And there's a full full tutorial on that in the biology course. Um, Car is worried about giving card details. So I've just reassured that you can cancel at any time. You can, yeah. So I mean, with the try free coupon. Try free, yeah. You, but you're you, not going to take anything unless 30 days time. Which yeah, so 30, I guess 31 days after you tr use the try free coupon will be the first bill date and so if you if you choose to not continue after the before that then you just unsubscribe and you can just log in in fact i might even be able to show you in my test account here um yeah i can let me just do a screen share so i can show you exactly where that is so if anyone's concerned about that once you're logged in as your student you can go you can click to on this that, it is a it is a sensible question i mean there's loads oh, of definitely. places online where it's like yeah put your card details in and yeah all the payments are processed okay. by stripe one of the biggest in fact possibly the biggest online payment processor super secure i mean it's all it's all 100 think 128 bit encrypted like none of the details are passed on to unsecured servers it's all you'll see up here you'll see the so we, we, we don't see any details do we at all we get the last uh, four details of the card and we get the postcard you know like the standard things that you can use to check a card um we don't get the security numbers or we get i think it's the last four digits the expiry date and the postcode but they're just that there's absolutely standard can i just like do some maths for a sec uh, one second, let me just explain the rest of this first. So yeah, once you've logged in, you can click on this avatar up here. You can upload your own photo if you want to, if you want to make it nice and personalized. And then if you do that, it will come out here in the comments. So if you want, if you want, if you're an ultimate user and you're asking us loads of comments, then definitely I'd say throw in a photo. It helps us, helps us um, just have a bit more of a personal relationship. So you can go to manage subscription or you can change your card details if you want to swap it to your parents' credit card, something like that. Then uh, you can stick, you can do all of that within here. It's pretty straightforward. Click on the avatar, edit your account. Uh, right, um, Usman SQ OCR continuous random variables and PDFs location of the median. You've got two ways of doing this. Okay, you can if you've got capital F, if you've already constructed or been given capital F, then set capital F equal to a half, and then just solve that equation because capital F is the area to the left of something, and what the median is is the point to which the area of the left is is a half, and the area to the right is a half because the median is halfway. So if you've got capital F put f of x equals a half, solve, 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 x is the median. Now, what a lot of students do is that they um, remember that, that capital F is a half is the median, and then they massively overcomplicate it. Because imagine you've got something like small f is like a straight line like this. So it's, it's a uniform distribution. So small f is a straight line. Well, the median's just halfway, literally halfway. Or if you've got something that is like a triangle and then like a histogram or something. It's a triangle and then flat. And this area is a quarter. Then all you need is another quarter of this rectangle. And then that's the median there. So when you were saying, when they say, blah, 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 simple cases by direct consideration of an area may be required. That's what they're talking about. They're saying, don't overcomplicate it. Don't try and get a capital F. Just draw a picture of small f, draw a little sketch of it and just literally using the over triangle, the over rectangle, the over histogram, work out what X would give you 50, half to the left and half to the right. Done. Um, awesome. There's a few questions there um, about, do we cover the WJEC spec? So for, I think what we may do for biology and chemistry is produce like a, a, like a side course that will have all the re videos relevant to you. It doesn't exist right now. Um, if you are a WJEC student and you're looking for biology or chemistry, then send us an email to office at taylortutors.co.uk and we'll give you an update as to when that is going to be ready for you. Um, we'll put you on a list, basically, and we'll let you know. Uh, yeah. we'll for now, I think AQA is the answer, isn't it? I think AQA is the most similar. We have loads of students who, who do um, WJEC, um, and we generally... I need to do a double check of... Uh, basically, I think the AQA course is the most similar, for sure. Yeah. 
I've actually had a WJEC biology teacher go through my course and make some make some comments about that. So, for example, you do chitin in WJEC, a different type of polymer of carbohydrate. None of the other examples do. My videos, therefore, don't include it. But I now know which bits I need to do. So, I mean, I think releasing a WJEC course is probably in the pipeline, but not for not for this year. This year, we'll just release a course that is the content we already have organized and put in such a way that it's most convenient for WJEC users. Is there any way to pay a single lifetime payment for the course? Ryan, we had loads of different options two years ago, and then we had quite a few different options last year, sort of, and it was, to be honest, a major nightmare in terms of communicating what it is and how much, like people were paying different amount. It was no, basically, is the simple answer. It was a, it was a nightmare. It was a minefield of, um, yeah, of problems. And generally speaking, when we presented it as you can buy the whole thing, and but it comes obviously with a decent sized price tag and that generally puts people off. Um, so no, it's just going to be a subscription throughout the year. And also, I think the subscription makes more sense in terms of what we're actually offering, which is basically tuition. So, you know, if you have a private tutor, you don't give them a grand at the beginning of the year, you, you pay them weekly for mm -hmm. the tuition. And so, you know, we're offering a lot of support each month for the price of an hour of tuition, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were asked, Baby Witch asked, why can't we do this for free? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll... <laughs> this house okay. is expensive. I, I, well, I just like to say, like, <laughs> how much do you think I should pay Ronnie and Richard for their full time work? How much do you think a really top quality, ex senior, experienced teacher should be paid per year? I, that's the question. They will do this full time. Like, if you think that your teachers work for free, then you are probably in cloud cuckoo land. Unfortunately, Ronnie and Rich, they love what they do. And I love what I do, but I don't have a private income. I didn't, I didn't have uh, an aristocracy for background. It's not something I can just give for free. It just simply doesn't work like that, sadly. Yeah, and I, actually, when I was working full time as a teacher, I did a lot of private, actually, Rich, you're the same, aren't you? Did a lot Ooh. of private tuition. No, and no. now that I'm working full time for tailored tutors, supporting the tailored tutor students, I say no to private tutors private tuition so I don't do the private tuition anymore so I'm actually the tailored tutor students get more of my time than actually my students did when I was teaching full-time that's it I, I think you know what what we're able to do is reach more students I think you know we are experienced in what we do all three of us um but you know I got I probably had four A-level classes each year between like first year and second year plus some BTEC classes and stuff like that but you know, there are more students enrolled in the chemistry course on Taylor Tutors right now than I would be able to teach in one year in college, if you know what I mean. So it's our opportunity to help more students. And I love that about this. I absolutely love that about this. You know, you, you, you kind of, okay, if you've got maybe a thousand students in a course, that can get a little bit hairy when it, <laughs> when it comes to answering comments and stuff. But that's what we're here for. And that, that's, that's what we enjoy. I've got a question um, about the A star, this is people resitting because this is C3, C4. But um, basically, if you are resitting the maths and you are going for an A star, then you need 90 on C3 and C4. So if you think about what you actually need to get, so you need um, you need six times 80, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. You need six times 80 overall, of which 180 has to come from C3, C4. Now, if you subtract from that what you've got on C1 and C2 and S1, you will get what you need on S2. Okay, so if you've done well in the first year, you well, my daughter needed 14 on S2 in order to get an A star. So, yeah, you need to calculate that for yourself. But um, you, you play the game for the old A level, for the A star, it's C3, C4 and an A overall. So you can work out what you need on the applied module. And it certainly isn't as important as the C3, C4, no. Uh, we had a question about, was it, do you, will you still get the, the full benefit if you have WJEC? I'd say absolutely. We'll try out for, there's no one that can prove this to you better than yourself. Right now, you can use the coupon, try it free. You can try the AQA course for biology or, uh, or chemistry if you're a WJEC student. And just you can see how useful it's going to be. I I'm, Don't take my word for it. Just try it out for yourself, I would say. So you're just saying, checked out the website, wondering what's the difference between starter and ultimate, which is obviously a very important question. 
Yeah, so we covered that kind of at the beginning, but in to recap, just because everyone keeps asking us and asking us and asking us and asking us. So the starter guide gives you the videos. It covers the full specification. They are exam board specific to whichever course you do, AQA, OCR, or Edexcel. As I said, we don't quite do WJEC yet. But you can't um, contact us. There's no additional support with that. So it's the, it's a course really well written, really, you can do it whenever you want, but you can't ask us questions. You can't join live classes. You don't get the template notes. You do not get the PDF question packs in biology and chemistry. In math, you do get the questions, but not the video solutions. There's a lot, a lot of extra work. Basically, if you want a little bit of us to help you throughout the year, you need the ultimate guide. If you just want the video tutorials to support your own learning, then it's the starter guide that you need. Um, there was a question, how do you stay motivated in biology from Ro Romesa? A good question. It is, it's like a marathon with a few little sprints in it somewhere um, because you can't just work hard all of the time. For me, that was never a realistic probability to just keep working and working and working. Some, some students are amazingly consistent. You can't ever just forget about it completely. You... You need to, biology is amazingly interesting. I'm sure all of us would say that about our, our own subjects, but I'd say all the subjects are, are interesting, but you get bogged down in having to learn the specific details rather than actually sort of enjoying the subject itself. So taking a little bit of time once in a while just to, to see the subject and see, under, join, that mostly comes when you get to join it all together towards the end. Um, break it down into small pieces, give yourself manageable targets that you can you can achieve. Because if you just think, oh, I'm going to take out my 700-page textbook at, at the beginning of the year, so I'm just going to learn this. It's just so daunting that, yeah, I, I think it's very easy to get de demotivated with um, when you just look at big, fat textbooks. So what I would say is break it down into small pieces, um, see if you can, like, make sure you're not ever leaving things just and forgetting about them entirely for long periods of time, because it will just only come and come back to bite you in the butt later on and try joining our web class as well. Cause I'm going to try and make those web classes really not necessarily entertaining, but as like, as, as like, yeah, as, 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 as fun and entertaining as they can be basically. Yeah. Water, um, water Hassan was just saying he wants to get this because of the convenience. You can use it whenever you want, instead of setting a, a time like a normal tutor. That's one of the huge benefits of this. And Ronnie's just saying, yeah, 24 seven. I think one of our students, Davina from last year was just saying to us before that she likes revising between 10 PM and 3 AM. I mean, each to their own, but you're never going to get a tutor to come out at that time of the morning, are you? But, but uh, then when, yeah, but then when you come across the question, you get halfway through a video and you think, I don't understand that, you type it in then and there, and then you're going to get an answer to that. Probably not at 3 a.m. No, um, no. Well, <laughs> yeah, we, we tend to sit down like three times a week, don't we, and look at the comments and stuff. So that's, that's pretty regular. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and obviously those web classes, you're going to have a weekly check-in. In fact, two web classes each week. I don't think I even mentioned that. There's a web class starting October, a year 12 web class and a year 13 web class for biology, for chemistry and for maths. Yeah, um, we're kind of cycling around, aren't we? We were, we were having a conversation just earlier today about how, you know, we're doing a year one and a year two web class, but equally, you know, if you're in year two, that doesn't mean you just come to that one because everything's linear now for you guys, isn't it? All your exams are at the end of year two, so you're going to need to revise that year one stuff as you go through your year two. So that's the benefit of that as well. Spend a couple of hours a week with us in our subject areas and you, you know, you're testing yourself and you're relearning and making sure you remember all your year one content as well. So you're kind of just doing that passively just by turning up to the web class. So, you know, it, it, it's, well, it's not a chore really, is it? Because you, be, you yeah. come in anyway for the year two stuff and you just happen to get all that year one stuff as a Brucey bonus. There's a really good question. Do the web classes cover all boards? Maths, this is a super easy answer. They're all the same. My subject's best. Um, but <laughs> I know... Easier. And my subjects, yeah, because maths is well known <laughs> how easy it is. That's what it's well known for. So, but highest, know... Ronnie, what subject gets the <laughs> highest proportion of ANA star grades? And the highest proportion of U's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Yeah, but basically, yeah. yeah, I think if you can get through that birth thing, maths definitely gets the highest proportion of A's and A stars, I know that. Yeah, but it gets the highest proportion of U's as well. Because you can't yeah. just like write some nonsense like you can in biology, like, oh, <laughs> evolution. Anyway, the point being that I know, I know that 
for chemistry biology there isn't it's more difficult to cover all the boards but i do want to talk about how you've done like for the web classes you're planning the maximum overlap but you'll also make sure that everybody is fully supported depending on what yeah. board they're doing. well okay so the, the first thing i'm going to say yes all the simple answer is that the web classes are going to be for all exam boards i'm currently tearing my hair out like figuring out exactly the how they're all going to interlink but what i'm going to say is that the web classes are going to coach you through how to use the course to cover everything you need to know. So all of the teaching, all of the information delivery still will take place in your subject specific, exam board specific course. I'm not gonna just reteach you photosynthesis or reteach you the nitrogen cycle in a live version of what my video already has done. So I'm gonna coach you, this week you should be watching the video, these videos. This is a question pack that's exam board specific for your exam board that you can do to cover um, these topics and then we're going to look at the hardest examples basically that are relevant to everyone in those web classes and then basically tackle those and break down exam technique and see how to apply what you've learned that week to exam questions. Um, Har is saying should I get year 13 subscription so I can get all the resources? Uh, you no, get... if you're year 12 I would buy a year 12 course and yeah. if you're year 13 then I buy a year 13 course um, you will depending on the court the way for that maths we've... you'll get all of it because colleges are doing it in all different ways so for yeah. maths just just say which year you're in so we know which year you're in in terms of support but yeah. you will get all of the whole A-level content yeah so like I buy the year that you're in ha, huh, is the simple yeah. answer to that yeah. we have yeah. taken care of everything else for you that's it. Yep. Are you still asking for uh, for proof of year twelve, Rich? Or? Yeah. Well, I mean, ultimately, we'll we'll figure that out as things move on a little bit. So, if you're year twelve, then it, then you can buy the year twelve course. Um, if if you're watching loads of there's some of the some of the year thirteen content is included in that. Um, so, effectively, we'll we're going to test it out till Christmas, basically. And if we decide to pull the year thirteen content, we can do that later on. So, like, hey, uh, exciting news! You know, Seb, who's been in every single web class we've done. He's a star. He's now joined TT. Well done. <laughs> That's exciting. In the club. Yeah, in the he's club. in the club. He's in the maybe, club. Maybe now's a good time. We can. I was planning on introducing this later on, but it's sort of all subjects together. There is a, a Facebook group for TT students to be able to share. Um, share basically you can like help each other with the course and so you can ask each other questions and help answer each other's questions and we had a really good feedback at the end of last year spontaneously in our web classes it's mostly going to be to support the web classes but anyone anyone who's a tt user will be able to join it there will be a little password to get in which i won't be announcing now but it will go in the welcome email that we send out in the beginning of october um so there's the tt it's called tt student community i think on facebook so if any of you want to um, apply for that, there will be a password, but we will let you know what that's going to be pretty soon. Um, someone was asking us, are we doing any free competitions or stuff like that? Next week, there's going to be a little bit of uh, a little bit of stuff happening in terms of opportunities to win the course for free. But don't worry, use the try it free coupon. If you win, if you win the course in one of those competitions, then obviously we'll just grant you free access for the rest of the year. So there's going to be um, all sorts of little competitions and stuff. So keep your eyes open for what's happening, especially in the YouTube lives next week. Um, uh, so there's yeah. a question here from Sugar. I was just typing an answer, but I thought I may as well jump in. And, and yeah, just jump in. in. Um, so Sugar was saying, so how do I apply for the one month free subscription? That code that we've put in there, uh, that Ryan's put in there as well. I think Ryan's. Ryan's been there. answering all the questions. <laughs> Ryan's like superstar. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that code, that try it free. All you need to do is just go through the normal subscription path. So you click on subscriptions. Rich, well, maybe whilst you're talking, whilst you're doing that, let me do, let me do this, and then I can show students whilst oh, you're talking about it. So you, TT website, app programs, subscriptions here, and wait. <laughs> Wait for the page to load. So then again, as Ha said, pick your year. Let's say pretend your year, whatever, year 12. And then you can choose between the starter guide and the center guide. You can read a little bit here. I think we might make a little video just to explain what the differences are here because people are getting a little bit stuck. You're going to get the, the ultimate guide because it's way better. And then you're going to choose your subject. Let's say it's chemistry because Richie's doing the talking right now. Um, and then you can, if you want to read a bit more about it, you can choose your exam board here. So the AQA, year 12 chemistry ultimate guide is 39 pounds a month. 
Um, it tells you what's included here. And then if you get maths added on, you're not paying double and you're paying. Yeah. So if you want chemistry and maths together, you only, you only pay 30 pounds a month for the maths um, to add that on. Uh, which is super nice. So if you do want more than one subject, and again, you can try all any of these, you can try out for free. Let's just say, I want to try all of them. You can then just click on here. The question, we, another question we've had a lot of, how do I choose my exam boards? Because you get the choice to choose AQA chemistry here, but you you basically choose your exam boards after the checkout. So choose from either AQA, OCR, LSL after you sign up. So again, it's just too many combinations. If you think about, you've got three exam boards for three subjects, you've got three times three times three, and then you've got ultimate guide, starter guide, it all gets majorly complicated. So choose your, choose your exam board after the checkout if you want, let's say, um, any of these. That's He's saying got the free month and watched every single video for chemistry and biology and learned things that his teacher never mentioned in college. It's not just watching them. We do offer help as well and Q&A and all those things. And also the, the weekly webinars, the web classes are going to be super important because they're going to keep you going over everything. So it, it, it's not just watching the videos but I am really glad that you liked the videos, even though you haven't watched any maths videos. What do you think you're saying? Give us a, give us a score out of 10. What, like, how did you find it? Obviously you've, you've watched a lot of them. I'm assuming you don't think that they're rubbish, but like how, <laughs> what, what were the benefits? How did you, uh, how did you use them? Yeah. I'm, it's always interesting to know how students use them. Yeah. Just while Hussein's typing that, Har's asking when's the best time to sign up for OCR web classes, chemistry. I mean, all our web classes, proper, you know, um, kind lessons. Of us teaching lessons or well, not so much lessons, but, you know, going over exam content and, and specific subjects and stuff that all starts in the first week of October. So Rich is doing his biology on a Tuesday night, six till eight. I'm doing uh, chemistry on a Wednesday, same times and Ronnie on a Thursday for maths. So you can check into those anytime. I'm but that's only sure. ultimate users from the beginning of October. From, for yeah. the ultimate guide, yeah. For, only if you've got an ultimate guide subscription, you'll be able to come to those web classes. And what you'll do is you'll go into your web class, um, the web class kind of hub, if you like, on your subscription, and you go into each week. So each week's like a lesson in there. Did you say oh, you yeah, published please. your timetable, Rich? Is that is that? Yeah, is yeah. Go in there. Go and check that out. I can, let me go pull it up, and then um, yeah, absolutely. I'll, so yeah, just while Rich is pulling that up, and I can show you exactly what I'll be doing week on week, um, we're all you have to do is just register for that web class. So it's not just like oh, just a case of turning up if you feel like it. We want to know if you're going to be coming or not. So what I'll do, and I'm pretty sure what uh, Rich and Ronnie are doing as well, is each week I'll give out some questions for you to do ready for the next week and what we'll do that following week and go over those questions talk about that subject so where i'm you know i'll be pushing you in terms of your exam technique helping you answer those questions looking for common mistakes and faults and stuff like that it's what we're here to do it's what we're all doing um so yeah if you click on any of those rich those are all my web classes so mole calcs too you know mole calcs are so important i'm doing two weeks on them for year uh, for year one so Why is it mole? This is the mole calcs one. What is um, one though, Rich? Ah, uh, right, okay. So any of those. Yeah, Rich, yeah, what, what, is, what is one? What is a mole? Um, what, what is, is a mole? Classic. Uh, yes. A mole is a measure of an amount of a substance. So because... They're like a uh, like gram. It's basically just a fancy word for a number. So you, if I said to you I had a dozen of something, how many would I have? Twelve. Yeah, a pair? Two. So a mole is uh, six point uh, six. Oh, point... it's like pi or e or phi. Yeah, it's just yeah. a number. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. A large number. A very large number. Yeah, times ten to the twenty-three. So. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, you can see in this one the richest got up. Uh, year one between six and seven, I'll be doing mole calculations. So basically, that's just my introduction, and the bullet points underneath are, you know, the main headlines. That's what we're going to be covering underneath the week before there'll be a button up here there so you can register yeah. for that, put your name in. I know you're coming. I know how many people I'm, I'm expecting and the same for the year two as well. So I yeah. want to keep those separate, I think, Rich, because yeah, well, uh, because of numbers. That's so fine. We can have separate links. We can register for them separately. Yeah. And so for the fun. recordings, it makes sense for them to be two separate recordings, a year one recording and a year two recording. So guys, yeah, let's say this is obviously happening on the third of, um, 3rd of October. Is that the right date there? The 10th? 10th month? Is it? It's the 10th, isn't it? Oh my God. I'm just going. Yeah, bomb. yeah, yeah. So obviously on, on the 4th of October. Yeah. Yeah. It's, after, the right yeah. 
it's the right it's the right date format um yeah so uh, on the fourth or afterwards the web class this will be replaced by the videos of the recording so if you did miss out you couldn't make it you had you know clarinet practice or whatever you were doing on that particular time then you can come back and watch the recordings afterwards so um hussein has answered your question oh let's let's have a look on no i'm just i'll let me stop screen sharing so i can come back um 11 out of 10 no above that look three up from that oh uh I was doing past papers and retake my A-levels and I've already gone from a D to a B in a month. There you go. It's not, it's, yeah, it's not rocket science. It's just a little bit of sort of <laughs> neuroscience, maybe. Yeah, it's... Uh, Sarah, it's just... Sarah, yes. If you buy the ultimate year 13, you can still, 100% comes to the year 12 uh, web classes. You, and you, you, you're meant to, like they're for yeah. you as well. Yeah. And as you get access uh, to all the videos and you can comment on all the year 12 stuff as well. Cause yeah. well, linear, yeah, because linear, that's that's exactly. you get everything, you get everything all the way back to the beginning of the year 12. Um, and what was the other question is, um, can you put up the past paper chart, which you saw on one of the previous things? Thank you for saying it's amazing. And yes, I will put that up. That's a good idea. I will write that down. I'll, make, I'll put it somewhere sensible. I'm not entirely sure where the most sensible place is, but I'll put it somewhere. And then if you... Maybe, maybe um, with the web classes or is that confusing? Like as... Oh, uh, it's, it's for doing past papers, really isn't it the past yeah. paper chart so really it's in with the revision -y stuff but i can think about well, whether ronnie I'm something we're going to be adding to the website at some stage will be like a toolkit for sort of useful yeah. pieces and so a bit like a blog but for useful things for yeah. students so yeah, yeah. Uh, it, that might be a place for it to live eventually um, um sugar is saying so if i pay 99 a month do i get help for biology chemistry and maths for as and a level yes yes you do for both years yes yep. Every and month. imagine what three tutors would cost you per yeah. month. And yeah. that's for two hours of tuition a week online, live three with us. That's six three hours. subjects. And plus all of the videos and all of the resources and all the Q&A. And plus the fact that you can at any point ask any question on anything. Mm. And so that ties in nicely with Seb's question. Do you need to buy the subscription to send you pictures of my work? To send us yeah. pictures, you don't need any subscription. But like for the try it free coupon, you can you can try the ultimate guide for free and ask us questions as if you that's you're, we're giving you um we're giving you the month for free. So you are a complete yeah, but to, to like to like take a photo and say where have I gone wrong or like how do you do this question, then you do need the ultimate subscription. Yeah, you need a starter. Ultimate. Yeah, but personally. yeah, you can when the comments you don't you can upload pictures of what you've done or stuff like that. Yeah, that you can do that on the on the course. Ben is saying, "Where's the Facebook group?" Okay, it's called TT Student Community. It's a, probably a private group, so it will ask you for a password. We and we will. It's we're going to be sending out at the beginning of October. Be sending out like a nice welcome email. In fact, we may even do it a little bit sooner than that. Um, Let's see if I can find it and then I can show it to you. Um, yeah, it's, it will be called the TT Student Community, I think is the name. Again, if you have any better names for that, have a better name for the traffic light system, let us know because I'm more than happy to make things a little bit nicer than... Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, we don't really want to call it a traffic light system. It's no, so... it's like boring. And that's like yeah, dull. yeah, yeah. So if any of you guys on here... Who, uh, we can have a competition next week, maybe. Seb, Ryan, who else has been on here? Ben... Sarah, if you got any ideas on our little traffic light system, a little cool name for our traffic light system. I don't um, know so what's wrong with traffic light. I like traffic light. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, this is the name of the group. It is a closed group, as I said. Um, TT Student Community is what it is. You can request to join, presumably, right now, and we'll we'll basically get everything a bit set up. I think we'll maybe we'll do this for next week because we're doing a bit of a, a an extra promo next week, so I'm sure we'll get some students in there. Um, and you can, there's going to be a Google drive folder. So you can like, you can share documents with each other. Um, yeah, it's basically, we're, we're just setting up. It's more or less ready for you guys. We will, when you get, just keep your eyes open on your inbox basically. And um, we will let you know the password. Yeah. Sugar doesn't have Facebook, but don't worry. There's plenty of other ways to communicate with us. And Rich, would you mind when you've got that screen share on going on the website and showing Seb where the chat is, the live chat. So if anyone's oh, of course. I'll do it right now. Yeah, um... <laughs> it was fun. Who still has Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, well, it I, think it's, I, I think, you know, we, we thought about this and we know you guys, you know, a lot of you guys don't use Facebook anymore. 
but actually it's a really good platform to get people together. I mean, we did have um, an awesome, we had a couple of awesome uh, WhatsApp groups last year, didn't we? What was it, what was yeah. it called? Riches Bitches. Riches Rich. Bitches. Like somebody <laughs> set that up, which is awesome. But it just got crazy in there. But we thought it's a great... Imagine 200 students. Imagine you've got 200 people actively in a WhatsApp group. They're like chaos. Chaos. I mute them immediately. I had like a few big groups of organizing oh, yeah. like parties pink, pink, or ski pink, trips yeah, yeah. or like whatever. And like every day there's 50 messages. It's like, I cannot be bothered to read this. I'm not going to. So again, how else do you do it? Snapchat? No, wouldn't work. Like Instagram? No, doesn't work. And there's no dot. If you want to send each other files, I've got this exam paper. How can you like Facebook is sadly the only way of doing it other than maybe building our own platform but then that obviously comes with a load of work and time and cost so anyone who wants to get in touch with travis between 6 p.m and 9 p.m you can just jump on the website here and you can ask us any questions about the products live travis who's answering this is not a genius tutor that does every single subject ever if you're going on in there and asking you about integration or or ligands or complex ions or you know what you need to write in your biology exam he just simply can't answer those because he doesn't know when um but you can jump on the chat and ask any questions what's the difference between starter and essential or starter and ultimate what's the difference between um what do i do is the question we're getting a lot of the moment, are the year 12 tutorials included with the year 13 courses of course they are we understand how the courses are taught we wouldn't possibly want you to buy two subscriptions simultaneously um so that's where you jump on the chat it's in the evenings again we we spoke to a whole lot of students feedback was um, you weren't really interested in chatting to us during school time because, you know, you, unless you're in a lesson when your teacher probably doesn't want you chatting to us on the website. So 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. We're super available. Um, you should be able to find one night of the week, Monday to Friday, where you can have a chat with us. I think um, um, we need we're at 58, to... guys. Let's let's wrap up in the next couple of minutes here. Twitter, we're not using at the moment, are we? But no, we I mean, Twitter is relatively easy to implement. Maybe we will throw out a few. I mean, Twitter, those that use it, use it a lot. Those that don't use it, you know, it's kind of irrelevant. But um, yeah, we're looking at making an app, but it probably costs 100 grand to make an app and do it well. So uh, unless yes. you want to pay a bit more, then it's probably not happening just yet. I do like to try and keep costs as low as possible. <laughs> uh, Hussein. Missed a bit about bundles. What does £79 get you as I'm a subscriber? 99 79 will get you two courses. So saying 99 for three. Yep. The more you uh, get, Dave. Yeah. And yeah, that's for two, that's nine, nine, three. That works really well. Um, it's not the most user friendly app, I don't think, but it is really handy because I think the major benefit, and again, one of our students was saying, is that while you're at home, you think, all oh, right, I, I need to watch this section of videos. Maybe if I got a long bus journey to college or school or something like that, you download them at home and you can watch them on the app without using any data or anything like that. But you can only keep them in the app. You know, you can't post just them like Spotify. Or them to your friends or anything. Yeah, so it's like Spotify, absolutely. You can sync, yeah. sync them offline. You can download a you know, you can download whichever whichever videos you want. So you can watch them if you you know if you if you've got a country house that's out in the middle of the boonies and you don't have any internet out there, you can download them and watch them over the weekend. So they're online. Um, yeah, that's the main benefit of the app. But I'd say um, that the actual TT website is actually pretty the the academy is pretty mobile friendly. So you'll get all the features on there. At physics, if you buy any ultimate, so if you buy biology or chemistry or maths ultimate then you will get for free a physics course which is me helping you with physics and i am going to also take the physics a level exam this year um so i'm going to have to work just as hard as you on all the past papers and stuff um because i think and rich and rich agree with me that teachers should yeah the physics is free the physics is just for fun i'm doing it for fun <laughs> because it is fun um but i think teachers should take exams i think that going through the stress of learning a subject which isn't your subject it helps you to know what it's like for students and develop revision strategies that help and all that sort of stuff so i think it's it's really good and i'm gonna persuade rich to do a level maths at some point i'll i'll definitely uh i'll definitely have a crack at it at some stage yeah, yeah. some stage I do, I do my gcse maths Oh, I'm not teaching the art. It's got shapes and stuff in. I can't do shapes or numbers. Shapes, don't do shapes. <laughs> or conversions or like, no, number, no, I'm not, no. You'll have to do A-level or nothing. 
mean, he'll put a nail of a mask and you'll get to use that bit of tracing paper. And You don't know, you don't know. That's correct. Okay, yeah, that's <laughs> not for me. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, Ronnie, you just made a, a point there about the uh, the reviews. Just go and have a look at them. I think this will be the link. The linking to Google reviews is a bit of a bit of a nightmare, but I think this is I think this is the one you can correct me. I mean, I just read what students have written um, about about the courses, and they're going to be your best your best option. Um, right. Okay. It's, no, it's... it doesn't need any tracing paper. <laughs> started something now. Ryan's going to yeah. be asking. No. <laughs> algebra, algebra, algebra. <laughs> um, okay. So what have we learned today? The difference between the starter guide and the central guide. Starter guide is videos only covering the whole spec. Ultimate guide includes the comments, the template notes, the question packs, the live web classes, two hours per week per subject. Um, and the option to ask us comments or questions on all of the videos. That's the main difference is there. The new traffic light system, every time you're watching a video, mark it with a color, even if that's just do them all for amber and you come back to them and try the questions and see whether you can go green or red from there. Um, that way you've got a nice record. It really personalizes the, your, your account to you. And if you have a great name to replace a traffic light system or a color coding system, let us know. We'll probably have a competition for that next week. So you guys can have a little bit of extra thinking time. I think we should do that next week. We should have a competition to name the traffic light system and give someone a prize, win the course for a year, if you can uh, come up with the best name. And um, asking if we're on again next yeah. Monday, we are, but we're, we're also yep. tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday this week as well. Yep, so um, we'll do some biology stuff check, tomorrow. Because oh, I don't actually know the answer to this. The question pack. Does the oh, question pack come? Questions no. with the biology and chemistry, you won't get any question packs with the starter guide. But Correct. you do with maths because um, because with maths, it, the whole thing is about doing it. There's no point watching me do it. You have to you have to actually do it. Yeah, it, it's a it's a pro, it's a activity maths so yeah with the math starter you'll get the questions with the answers but not the video solutions they come with the ultimate whereas with the biology and chemistry the ultimate is where you get the questions is that right yes yeah, correct. that's right yep so the yeah the maths is kind of essential you have to do some questions with it and they include with the starter guide biology and chemistry all the question packs by topic all the um the past paper library all those kind of broken down question stuff will be included with the ultimate guide but not with the starter the starter guide basically videos only just think of it starter guide videos only no additional support that's um do we um, teach in the same school none of us teach in a school anymore no hooray well we do we teach in our school this is the school, oh, school. Of Taylor G. Taylor. school of the internet <laughs> yeah the school of the internet um, uh, when will initial rate is this Ken initial yeah, rate monitoring well, first week in October Yasin uh, so I've just finished the year two organic or will do tomorrow actually and then I'm on to the physical stuff so yeah that'll be up uh, beginning of October for you because it all needs to be edited and stuff there's a bit of a delay so yep yeah, it'll all be there very very soon but I will be talking about rates on Wednesday I made some promises last week to some uh, some people to right, a bit of the Arrhenius is it is that you doing uh, good old Arrhenius equation I call it something else in private, but there we go. Yeah. Um, the um, yeah, rates, and I forget the third, but I've got it written down. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm doing mainly second year stuff on Wednesday, but open to questions once I've done those. We've had our first um, entry into your competition, Rich, Step System. Step System, I like Step System. Okay, who was that? I'll have to give that original accreditation. Uh, Hussein. Hussein, okay, perfect. Ryan's Ryan's saying, yeah, what's well, yeah? Call it the traffic light. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm with Ryan. I don't know what's wrong with traffic light. Right, well, we'll maybe we'll have a poll they're at red, the end of... They're red, amber, green. They are they are traffic light. Um, okay. Oh, well, we will we'll have a competition next week. Maybe we'll have a poll. Maybe we'll maybe launch the Facebook group with a with a poll for what you want to call it. Um, and maybe that will be a way that we'll decide the winner, and then the winner will win the competition, or will win the courses of their choice for free. If you do biology, chemistry, and maths, you can have the whole Kit Kat and Boodle Ultimate Guide for free for the year. So get thinking, get your thinking caps on. There'll be probably a course to win every single day next week, Monday to Thursday. I don't know if we'll do anything on Friday. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Taylor I think that's about it from me. Ben says tailored traffic light. The tailored traffic light. 
Okay, Ben, save your answers up for next week. We'll have a, we'll probably have a little form where you can submit your official application. Um, but don't worry, you go in there first with the tailored. If you if you have the original original uh, copyright on that, then we'll make sure you get found out. And that was Ben, was it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm running it down. Um, well, that's about it from us today. We're back for some biology stuff tomorrow. I'm going to give you some comments on the course. There were some great questions went on the course over the weekend, so I'll be answering some of those live. Bring me your questions, and I might pick a little bit of, um, yeah, I might pick a tricky little bit to, of the first year course to go through with you just as a little bit. Maybe I'll find a, a common mistake that people make and, and explain that. Sweet. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday for some chem. Yeah, see Perfect. you Thursday. Then see you all tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Ciao for now. See you guys.